as RTL Legacy. And uh, we're not just talking about HXS, uh, you mean at Crossfire. Um, uh, we also have here Gion and also we have Flex as we now start our first map. Again, this is Hardpoint in Summit. Well, it's gonna be a quick push in here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The control room number two gonna be the highlight point for all of the players because that will be hard point number one. Triple B opening up strong against RTL, but this is something that we are very, very used to. RTL never ever strikes first. They always want to check out the situation and then go in for that play. Definitely, and right now with VVP Sports really leading the way, all they need to do now is control this one and make sure that they will take onto the next hard point in 27 seconds as they are still holding their ground, AJ. Oh, and, 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 and it's beautifully played by Triple V so far, right? Not allowing any one of those RTL players in there at all. And as I am seeing the way they approach this situation, RTL is not giving up. And, and they keep pushing the matter, Cuckoo. But Triple V, what a tremendous defense. They will have to depend on the second hard point as they move out to the edge platform. And uh, look at how VVV is controlling right now the hard point. We saw there Charlie hesitating on trying to go to the hard point, but he tried to actually go and defend the control room so that no one can actually get through that next hard point. And it looks like Triple V has brought in a different sort of a monster into this game, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, because RTL Legacy is held to a zero point, and, and they are not even anywhere close to picking off this hard point. They will continuously go in there for the push, Kuku, but they will not get it. Susano, right now, it's a four-man push into this hard point, but the defense by two players from RTL, I mean, I, I don't know how they will be able to do this. They have the hard point for just a bit, but look at the lead, Cuckoo. 83 to 10 we are right now. Wow, and this is actually really, really amazing for VVV Esports. Look at where they are right now. Uh, they were there at the next hard point, probably around 15, 10, 15 seconds before it actually switches over. And now they have a hard point. But, ooh, we have RTL Legacy fighting back. Absolutely beautiful Susano War Machine push and it looks like RTL wants to make the comeback gameplay. Predator Missile coming in a little bit too early as Yon right now goes through almost getting taken down but the trophy system gameplay is coming in strong. RTL in there with the slays. Nick Flick takes out Susano but CF will slay him as well as RTL continuously pick up no points. It is going to be 24 more seconds on the board by the time we finish this, RTL is going to be super duper close to Triple B. And when we go in for the rotation, Cuckoo, all the way round to that blue radar station, Triple B better be ready to make a comeback in here. Hard point, and now they're getting ready to defend the next hard point in five more seconds. AJ, it'll switch over to them, and uh, looks like the a little bit of jitters at the very first uh, moments of the game here of the map for RTL Legacy looks like it's gone now. Oh, absolutely, man. Look at them blaze through this. But of course, it is not too late for Triple B because they have done just enough at the get go just to be here at the lead. Hitting that 100 point mark, they will take full control of the Blue Raider station. And this is their comeback gameplay by RTL, which is failing them again and again and again. They will have to do something. They cannot sacrifice all of these points. Although, Triple B cannot close the game just with this hard point. Definitely an RTL Legacy still has a chance here, but but I think it's way too late here now already as we are now going at 133 points here for Venny, Vidi, Vici, and looks like they practiced really well in hard point here in Summit AJ. They are just dominating RTL Legacy right now. 
Oh, absolutely, man. And we are going to rotate all the way back in here to the control room number two. And it's going to be RTL Legacy bringing in the fires of two. And they hit it. The class is right. The Mayo War Machine. He goes in for the first. 143. Triple B does need seven more points in here. What a will RTL be able to do. This is the push coming in from the Mayo. The Mayo still not taken down just yet. Tormenting the players of RTL. And looks like this could be the end. 145. 147. And this is it, Goku. No comeback. RTL will yet again have your blood drawn by Triple V Esports. And the V to the Esports, they came in blazing at RTL Legacy. We talk about a lot yeah. of RTL Legacy earlier that they just dominated the group stages. But again, yeah. like what I said, what I told you, AJ, this is the playoffs. This is a different type of level of Ichi Esports. They went through RTL Legacy. Probably a little bit of jitters for RTL Legacy. Since uh, yeah. they, they, this is the first time, I think, that uh, they've been in this yeah. stage. And Correct. right now, yeah. it is now RTL Legacy on the edge of their seats. But we're going to go on to the next map, which is going to be Search and Destroy. And I think RTL Legacy is far better than VVV Esports when, it's, when it comes to that mode. Oh, um, I, I I don't know, right? Because when when we went into Hardpoint itself, that was a tremendous gameplay by Triple V Esports. Very surprising because RTL has been so so commanding thus far, and and at the opening stages, right? You could say they were jitters, Kuku, but. You know, those players were not able to take the fight to Triple V at all. And if that happens with some quick encounters at the get-go at Meltdown, then that might also spell the fate of RTL Legacy. Will they lose? Will the momentum from Triple V's first win carry on into the second game for a dramatic opener in here today? I, I, I think that just might happen. Definitely, and they have that momentum over RTL Legacy. Now they have a bit of a time here to regroup, to talk things through. And RTL Legacy, I mean, I'm just basing it off uh, AJ. I mean, the reason why I told you mm -hmm. that RTL Legacy is way better in, in Search and Destroy compared to, uh, to VV Esports. I just base it off from the group stages. And again, uh, I actually uh, said said it earlier that this is not the group stages anymore. So we yeah. might see a 2-0 lead here for VVV yeah. Esports. RTL Legacy needs to go back to their drawing board right now. They need to make a change with their strategy. Overcome whatever they have brought in. Destroy Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the, the kickoff. Enemy Search enemy. and destroy at Meltdown. Wacky as he will open things up. Triple V. Um, I, I, I think they've done just enough right enemy to contact. perhaps scare RTL in here. But is that going to be enough to force them into submission for two games in a row? Let's find out, Google. Well, currently right now, looking at the map here, VVV Esports on the... Uh, I think they're on the defensive side, if I'm not mistaken here. Yep. Yeah, they are on the defensive yeah. side because we see two VVV Esports on top of our screens. But for the meantime, uh, Susano has the uh, the bomb here, AJ. So it looks like they're going to go for the plant for, uh, for B side. Oh, absolutely, man. And a quick plant coming in from Triple V. Hmm. Now... Okay, RTL. wait. Why, why do I have two triple V's at the top, right? <laughs> RTL on the red side, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls. On the attacking side will be RTL with a quick plant right now. Triple V. Are they going to come in here for the takedown? It takes it. Opens it up against Wacky. But it's a five on a two situation as things turns out. RTL Legacy going to be doing very, very badly. Van Lu as he comes back in here for the push. The defusal coming through and Triple V picks up a early point in here, Cuckoo. And that is just wow because uh, we always say from the group stages, whoever is on the attacking side has uh, more advantage compared to the other team who is the defending side. And now Triple, Triple V Esports able to get one. And this only means that their momentum is just going towards this second map. And ooh. 
Well, let's see exactly what happens in here. The bomb getting planted right now. Charlie goes through with those shots, manages to take one down, but CF drains him out immediately. It's HXS 1 versus 4. All over for Triple V, maybe. But maybe, just maybe, if HXS can pull off a miracle in here, Cuckoo, it might just still be possible. Because after all, this guy is the master sniper for Veni, Veni, Vici. But who are we kidding, right? It's a 4 on 1. And that was a, a quick uh, three kill there for RTL Legacy that basically uh, made it hard for HXS now to push in. And I think he has no choice already but to just push in. Oh, and there you go. Wow. But ooh. <laughs> again, numbers advantage, AJ. A absolutely, man. I mean, even if you go in there, you sneak off a couple of kills. Even worst case scenario, you know, you see Triple V, uh, sorry, RDL lose losing about four players, yeah, two players in there. It nothing's going to make a difference for them. But of course, RDL, they've done enough to take one round back. But is that going to be enough to shake Triple V, who's coming here for so, so strong? RTL once again, maybe going in here for a quick plant. It is going to be Van Lu, and he's already at the side. And yes, it is going to be the plant that in the players from Triple V in here for the push. 42 seconds on the clock right now. They will have to get this done, Cuckoo. Definitely, and uh, looks like uh, RTL Legacy is trying out, and that's a nice sniper there by HXS. Trying out its A and B right now. Looks like they're hunting out oh. with B, but ooh. <laughs> Beautifully taken here, and he's going to be a three-on-two situation. The bomb is still in here, but the defusal! Coming oh, freaking oh. through by Triple V yet again, and this is the second time that defusal is happening before the whole squad is taken down. Triple V just taking advantage of RTL's positioning right now, and things are turning out to be unexpectedly strong for Triple V right now, Cuckoo. That is a nice entry there. That was done. Beautifully done by the the esports. And now we are at the A site. AJ, they are now fighting each other here as we are down to 2v1 situation. It's going to be Kev's in here with the Fennec HXS. He goes through Fennec. Uh, I, I wonder if the Arctic 50 can get that shot. And it's going to be yet another suicide of the plant. As soon as he wakes up, HXS will get it done yet again, man. HXS always with those shots, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. There is no taking him down. And Triple V, just because of this guy, will pick up point number three. And uh, like what we have talked about before this map even started, VVV Esports has a really big chance here to win against RTL Legacy. They still need three wins more in order to do that. But we are now on round number five. Well, nothing has kicked off just yet, but there you go. The takedown from CF as well as Caps coming through. Jeon will take down CF, trying to equal things up. But Susano will take him out of the equation as well. RTL starting things off strong. It's a three on two as Caps gets shut down. Charlie with a two piece. Van Lu taking Charlie out of the equation. Once again, a two on one. HXS, can he once again pull off a two player takedown and pull this round off? It's going to be a plan in here from Van Lu. Wacky going in, maybe he will be able to find a backstab in here but no the defensive positions getting locked down by the two players of rtl well it looks like hxs will try to get through wacky is actually there on his right side and now they lost that round aj but attacking side is now on bbb esports and RTL better be afraid, man, because this is going to be so, so, so difficult. Triple V, they've been so commanding thus far at the search and destroy. RTL, maybe, maybe is the jitters of reaching the big leagues, right? Are they going to go down to the lower brackets and then make a tremendous comeback? Maybe, because the shots are on. The Mayo takes down Kev. Van Lu and Susano goes popping off as well. CF on Charlie. It's a four-on-one situation. HXS once again the last one, but this time... RDL finishes it off. And they tied the game now in this map. And uh, looking at the gameplay of each team, it looks like VVV Esports has outed RTL Legacy really well. They are actually putting up the same level of aggression over to RTL Legacy. But I think 
RTL's finally finding their footing. The Mayo going through with a shot and he gets taken down. The train's coming through, but it's a three on two situation. Make that a three on one. Wacky will be solo. The plan coming through right now. Wacky, what can he do? The nade gets out there and he will have to run away because at the moment, three on one, he needs to regroup. Wacky might be able to get one takedown here, but it's a two player push for him though. Well, this is going to be hard, as what we saw earlier with HXS with a 4v1. This is a 3v1 still. Let's see if Wacky can try to go for the clutch. Looks like he's, he's trying to, uh, to go around and he actually sees HXS down to low HP, but no, he was not able to. Oh, no, and he will get taken down. 4-3, Triple V takes the lead, Cuckoo. Definitely, and BBB Esports again. <laughs> Getting RTL Legacy at the edge of their seats. RTL Legacy needs to find a way to beat Veni Vidi Vici Esports AJ. Maybe this will be the time as Susano takes down Nick Lim. Charlie takes himself out of the equation. Van Lu on HXS. The Mayo deleted as well by Susano, leaving John all alone in here. And it looks like RTL will be picking up point number four. John sneaks in and out. Wacky shuts him down. Ready up. And uh, this game is really close. AJ, it's getting down to the wire here. Maybe we're going to see a 5 5 score. Currently, right now, 4. Four as we're down to round number nine in search and destroy. As we see each team, so I think BBB Esports still has a, a better gameplay compared to RTL currently. Oh, absolutely, man. So, but 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 let's see if or not RTL can fight against the odds, right? And the against the odds that I'm talking about here is the prowess that Triple V brings in here, the experience and the confidence that they have. RTL Legacy stepping into the big leagues, and right now they have got 35 seconds to take the defusal. They come through in there with the tactical. Susano maybe with the push. He will allow Wen Lu to take front first, and they haven't called for it just yet, Cuckoo. Yeah, definitely. And right now, we are still 4v5 now with RTL oh, losing Charlie, three the players going all of a sudden. Takedowns. And Nick Flip finishes it off so easy, so fast. Cuckoo, they had no chance in there. And Triple V just one point away from closing this off. And looks like AJ, they're trying to play some mind games here against RTL Legacy. Whoever comes in at the site first would actually win and we we saw their VVV esports going at site A first. Uh, RTL Legacy knew or actually almost went there but they actually went to the other site and now we have the same situation here with mm -hmm. RTL mm -hmm. actually going to site A now. Yeah, but the bomb is going in for the rotation and it's going to be a bravo plan. And look at the defensive position lockdown coming in from Triple V who's actually on the attack. Three players are watching the big chimney right now. And it looks like it's going to be all over from RTL as they make the push out of that big chimney. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, CF moving through. He has managed to get here so far. That rotation allowed by Triple V. And I think that's going to be a huge mistake. But Nick Flip coming in for the backstab, takes one down, goes in for another, oh. takes the second one as well. Beautifully played by Triple V so far. Yeah, and it's going to be Van Lu who takes Charlie out of the equation. Kev's deleted immediately. And it's still a three-on-one situation. It's going to be Wacky in here. Final player for the defense. Can he take on three players? Ah! Oh, and that is it. Triple V Esports will pick up game number two as well. And I thought in that last round, AJ, that RTL Legacy went on a good rotation instead of going right in the middle. Yeah. Nick Flip. It was Nick Flip who stopped them. They got surprised on the side. And yeah. at that point, RTL Legacy had no choice. And they mm -mm. lose Search and Destroy again.
Wow. Yeah, man. Oh, oh, see, so here, see, here's the thing, right? And 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 you were saying how RTL's so good at search and destroy. No, they just got obliterated by Triple V in there. And that final takedown by Nick Flip, it it was it was not by accident. He he waited and he was patient, right? Because they obviously saw that rotation coming in from Big Chimney. They already knew that RTL was in Big Chimney. They allowed them to go in for that rotation. They knew that flank was coming through and waiting just that extra few seconds two easy picks for nick flip and that was the start of the end for the search of and destroy man that that final round beauty in working coming in from triple v and right now that's that's two zero are we gonna be a, the only way rtl can get out of the sticky mess is to take three games back to back Definitely, AJ. And uh, yeah, I, I love number one in map number two right now. Veni Vidivici Esports has the momentum. And whoever has the momentum would actually go guns blazing at the very start of the, the, the map. And let's see if RTL Legacy will put the same level as what VDV Esports right now is showing us. But I'm hoping for Triple V to take a donut on RTL because that's going to be the, the craziest opener coming in from the group stages sort of a performance into the playoffs. You see such a different side of Triple V. That's going to be tremendous, man. Hopefully, Triple V can pull off this amazing run. We're going to be jumping into the game, ladies, German, boys and girls. This is going to be Domination at Meltdown. Yes, this is domination between DVD Esports and RTL Legacy, guys. If you're just watching right now, please don't forget to share our live stream as uh, Alpha and Charlie already got taken by each team. Now, uh, RTL Legacy now trying to get Bravo. Yeah, the fight for Bravo is always going to be hot, but it's going to be Triple V on the spot right there. Oh, was that RTL on the spot there? The Triple V, beautiful, beautifully played by Triple V. And they will pick up Bravo and Charlie Cuckoo. RTL struggling from the get-go, but for how long? We might see a donut here in our first matchup. But again, it is still early to tell as we have PvP Esports on Bravo and Charlie. Now RTL Legacy might want to try to go for, uh, for Charlie instead of Bravo, right? Because uh, the, uh, the Bravo side, you, you mentioned... It is uh, kind of hard to actually uh, capture or even defend. Yeah, but going in for Charlie is not going to be that easy as well because although you can flank around the big chimneys, that the, is the spawn point for Triple V as well. So, you know, it, it, it's going to be quite difficult, man. Those guys are going to be able to flank in real quick, but they can use that as a distraction, which RTL haven't used as an option just yet. And so far, it will be a 33 or make the 34 to 20 scoreline. RTL still struggling to find their way back in here. Nick Flip going through for the push and he wants to lock down that midsection. Van Lu and everything will still stay the same for the time being, Google. And I love how uh, Nick Flip is controlling that midsection, as you said, and he is still right there, not going to be taken out by anybody. It is just uh, the confidence of each player, of the, of the other players of EVV Esports to Nick Flip. He's just over there trying to defend it, and Tamayo just obliterating everybody who comes in his way. Oh, absolutely. Oh, and finally, he gets taken down by Susano. But look at the scoreline right now. 57 to 32. And the attempt finally coming through on that Bravo side from RTL. Look at those players from Triple V swarm around them. And the take back might just be confirmed. War Machine push from the Mayo. But the Mayo gets switched out as well. Nick Flip right now. Can he get it done for Triple V? So far, it's been a commanding lead. And Triple V will go ahead to take it right back Huku. what a beautiful pressure gameplay coming in from triple v so far rtl has got no answers to those questions but right now a three-man push to pick up that bravo side yet again and they might be able to do it and they get it done but what a wipeout sean with a three kill one bullet war machine take down 75 points and we have got triple v esports leading at that halfway point that was a really close battle there.
Just in the first half of domination at the very NMT end, but Dion, oh my goodness, with that one shot warm and killing everybody at Bravo. And right now, we are back here on the second half. Now, RTL Legacy needs to go to Bravo as soon as possible, but Billy Sport is still having the advantage. On Triple V, they are going in here for a push, but I think I smell something fishy. Very, very fishy, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. But I will talk to you guys about my theory a little bit later. But let's focus in on the gameplay coming in here from Triple V, which has been absolutely splendid so far. The Mayo goes in for the push. Van Lu switches him out, and it looks like it's a 90-point reach from Triple V so far. RTL still stuck at that 56. Point and the run will still continue as that commanding gameplay from Vinny Vinny VG comes through Kuku. Yeah, and they came, they saw, and they conquered AJ. This is BBV Esports gameplay right now, and we might see a 3 0 lead here for BBV Esports. What's happening to RTL? I'm not sure. But right now, they're still fighting for Bravo as they will take it, AJ. Oh, they will take it, but just for a few seconds because look at the shock as well. Oh, but the cluster strike coming through. But the cluster strike coming too late. Triple V managed to pull the slide back before it took any sort of effect. And Alpha Bravo captain still in there. Here comes Kev. And Kev might just be able to pull this away. Hitchhack says with that push. And he will go in with the defense. Triple V at that 121 point right now. RPL cannot do anything to make a comeback through this. 124, 125. And RTL will be crying at every single dig of their second. And they managed to pull it back, Kuku. But for how long? For how long indeed they still have time here. But again, BDB Esports has a very good lead. Uh, I really love AJ how BDB Esports is controlling the whole map itself. Enemy ears coming, coming. Kill me, Ahmed. I mean, and they're controlling it with just the uh, prowess of Sosuka. Susano, War Machine goes in for the push. RPL, but he gets switched out immediately. Is that Bravo Charlie hold? But it's not enough. RDL needs a full on lockdown. Hey, Troy, do it at all, Bob. But just to get taken down, Tamayo clears it off. And look at the Charlie capture coming in through for many. Pity, Vichy, they are trying to distract them at the same time. They want to protect that alpha ground. They also want to torture RDL. Even with two points, even with two points locked down, you still dare not touch us, says Vinny, Vinny, Vichy. And they will go ahead to get it done, Kuku. And uh, that was a really good effort there for an RTL legacy, but who's the boss right now we are the dominator we are benny vitty vitchy esports as they are now about to win this domination map with one more point left and they got it aj what a play for vvv esports absolutely beautiful play and i think i think i think i think this might just turn out in this way, right? Because now that RTL has been beaten, I don't want to take anything away from Triple V Esports, okay? I don't want to take anything away from them. But RTL looked like they were not at their... ...of the teams.